Hi everybody, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today is the second video in my series on my cleanup approach. Last week I talked about going through each line item and checking the balances in each line item, running the reports for all accounts so that way you can see what's in them. And this just kind of continues on that vein. Today, what we're going to actually do is talk about the organization of the chart of accounts. And I want to caution you, because I forgot to mention this last time, that in doing this process, we are not actually correcting anything, but rather what we're trying to do is to diagnose some specific problem areas that we can take back to our client when we're quoting them on a cleanup job. So that's basically what we're doing at this point, is doing a checkup just to identify where those problem areas are. We're not fixing anything at this point because that is going to be a separate engagement. And this is going to enable us to be able to quote them on the specifics on what the problem areas are so that we can tell them how to fix them in that cleanup engagement. So keep that in mind. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and go through and look at these chart of accounts. And as you can see, one of the things that you want to look for is maybe some duplicate accounts or some accounts that are misorganized and, and as you can see through here as I'm going through you can see some of these chart of account items could probably be organized better some of these job material things under expenses because this is a landscaping company a lot of these things could probably be moved up to cost of goods sold because right now if you go up here you can see that they just have one line item for cost of goods sold, but a lot of that could probably be nested underneath the cost of goods sold instead of being in expenses. There's also some other things that can be organized better, such as maybe the administrative costs can probably be nested under there, such as the utilities and some of the supplies, stationary and printing. All this could be organized much better. And we'll talk about this next time when we're actually running the reports so you can see how those look on the reports but the other thing that you want to note as well as we're going through this are any unused accounts and those like i said i've already checked these and both of these accounts if you and, and we did this last time you click on the register and any of these that have a zero balance in them they need to be inactivated or probably renamed or merged into something else. Like I said, we're not going to do that right now. And then some of these are system generated accounts. So you may or may not be able to get rid of them entirely. So that's another thing you got to look out for. But a couple of other things that's real important in this stage of what we're doing is to note, as you can see, there is a balance and opening balance equity. And a little bit about opening balance equity, that is an account that is a system generated account in both QuickBooks desktop and online used to help when you're setting up a file from the very first time because in a double entry bookkeeping system, you have to have an offset account in order to put those entries in. And then once you get all those initial entries in, then you're going to adjust retained earnings. And I know some accountants and CPAs are going to go, ah, but you have to do that in the very beginning to get those accounts adjusted correctly because once you do everything correctly opening balance equity should have a zero balance and then you should be able to inactivate it and another caution about that any of these balance sheet accounts that have a balance in them that you need to get rid of you need to bring those balances down to zero before you inactivate them because what it's going to do is it's going to throw that balance into opening balance equity and that's a lesson for another day and we can deep dive into that at some other point the other thing you want to look at is if there's a balance in the undeposited funds and we'll talk a little bit more about that later what what you can't really diagnose from here is that if you click on view register you're just going to see a bunch of in and out transfers of um, numbers going in and out of the account when the deposits are being made and things like that. So you're not really going to be able to see anything from there. You're going to actually have to click on the plus new button and go over here to bank deposit. So that way you can actually see whether or not there's an accumulation of deposits or not. And that's the only way that you're going to know whether or not the standard workflows are being followed. And it looks like in this case, just based on this cursory 
investigation of this that that it looks like it's being done correctly so at any rate what we want to make sure that we're doing at this point is just looking for the organization and a few things that look a little off kilter as far as some of the balances go and you're really not going to know that until you actually go into the balance sheet and the profit and loss and look at that and we're going to talk about that next time so hopefully this will help you today take care everybody and have a wonderful day thank you for watching i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others my goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.